Good afternoon and welcome back to another video on the channel KJ Collectibles here with Kirk for a little soccer. Yes, you heard that right. Soccer. Boo. Boo. Logan says boo to soccer, but yeah, I don't he like soccer though. He doesn't like soccer that much. And um, aside from playing up until I was eight years old, I haven't been the world's largest fan. Do enjoy sports. Um, so soccer's a big part of that in most of the world. Uh, World Cup I get excited for, and um, honestly with COVID, I, I'm a bartender. Um, COVID kind of uh, shortened our hours and made us just do carry out for a long period of time and didn't have much on TV, and then soccer came back and pretty much watched soccer every day, Champions League and other stuff. Um, don't have an allegiance, just like sports, but um, Wanted to kind of showcase uh, something a little different. These are cards that I found that were already in my possession that I went through and found that you know there's a decent amount of money here. Soccer is absolutely hot. There is a video that I posted that had a, a couple packs of soccer. I sold almost all of those cards already on eBay. Uh, I want to do something different with this one. Want to show the cards that I know I'm posting on eBay. These will be going up on eBay. Everyone that you see here probably 10 minutes after I'm done with this video, I'll be posting. Um, by the time this video airs, I'd like to try to have what they sold for or whether they didn't sell at all um, on eBay. Trying to uh, work on some editing a little bit and also kind of uh, switch up the video. So this shouldn't be very long. Uh, these are, uh, if anyone's familiar with soccer, these are 2018 uh, Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. Uh, I think a box of these, I don't know if it's sold or not, but I think one was listed for a box, a uh, hobby box for $7,000. Extremely expensive stuff. I remember when I bought some of these retail and we were in breaks and I didn't get a Messi and a Ronaldo, I kind of just brushed it off um, as a loss, just a, a fun little gamble. But uh, looking now, these cards have a tremendous amount of value, even in some base cards. So I um, wanted to go through a few variations and I kind of show you what I what I found. I uh, probably missed some stuff because I'm not a huge soccer fan. I had to use eBay as my gauge of what is good or not. So uh, it's a learning experience for me too. These are the red blue wave refractors or prisms. Any card that is a prism, silver or otherwise, we'll say prism on the back right there. So I think this uh, is just a couple bucks. Christian Cueva from Peru cool thing about soccer is that you get um, multiple fan bases. You get Peruvian uh, people that love you know, their country's uh, soccer team, and then whoever they play for um, in, you know, I guess, professional soccer. I don't know most of where these guys play. I think the, yeah, the leagues are on the back. But I think this is a couple dollars. Same with... Um, Uruguayan Diego Godin, again, red and blue, wave. No way I'm going to even try. I guess it's Gregor's uh, Grichowik. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Again, a couple bucks. Uh, Danny Alves from Brazil. And from Mexico, Javier Martinez. I think this card's probably closer to 10 bucks. Uh, I did look him up. Again, this is the red, blue, wave prism. And then, pretty expensive if I remember. Uh, you know, piece of, piece of advice, if they say they're from England and Germany, there's a good chance their cards are going to have value. Um, and this is Raheem Sterling from England, red, blue, refractor. I think this was listed as a rookie, like probably his first card. Um, he was born in 94. This came out in 2018, so he was 24. He was a young guy. Uh, I think this has um, a good bit of value. Again, I'm going to try to put the values on here once they have sold on eBay. Um, this is a different parallel. Uh, this person, I couldn't find anything sold for him. Um, I don't think he has a high market, but this is what's called a red mosaic. Different than the straight red. There's a pattern in this. So this product has probably 12 to 15 variations. They're all very different. Um, these are not numbered. Most of the retail parallels are not numbered. If it came out of the hobby box, the red is numbered out of, I think, 149. So 
Um, I just Google imaged uh, all of these cards just to kind of get an idea of what they were so I can list them properly on eBay. I think it's only, this is a rare, a rarer um, parallel. So that's probably gonna hopefully sell for a couple dollars. So uh, Kilor Navas from Costa Rica. Um, his cards are kind of all over the place. So a lot of these cards have been sold by it now, not auction prices. And that's usually what I look at um, to try to get a truer value of the sale price. Um, so I'm gonna be looking up a few. I think this is probably between five and $10. Hopefully it goes for more. But again, this is the red mosaic. And then uh, Ever Benega from Argentina. Again, red mosaic. I've seen a lot of the red blue mislabeled. Like, for example, this one, I think I've seen labeled as red green because the background's green and the side's green, but that's just because he's from Mexico and it's Mex uh, Mexico's colors in the background. So it, just be wary if you're listing or if you're even trying to buy stuff that you, um, the outline is what the important um, prism colors are. So uh, just an insert um, of Timo Werner from Germany. Uh, I think this is probably between five and $10 just as an insert. Um, New Era, obviously it's kind of like their rookie uh, insert set. Um, I first saw this car, I looked this card up because this was, uh, I had this in a soft sleeve. Uh, saw that it went for probably between five and $10 and then said, well, hopefully I find myself a Timo Werner um, base card. And we'll see in a minute that, that I did. And I think it's Werner, it's German. But um, this one's really nice. I knew right away that this card had some value. I didn't know that it was in like the 60 to $70 range for Neymar Jr. from Brazil. Uh, obviously, um, kind of throws me off when, you know, soccer players, you think that they, just having one name, they're all gonna be really good, but there are a few that um, don't have a high resale value, but Neymar definitely does, definitely does. Again, this is just a base card. Some of his parallels go for tons and tons of money. I have some friends who invested heavily and are probably gonna be doing very well this year with soccer. Uh, Sergio Ramos um, from Spain. This is probably 10 to 15. I think this is considered a, uh, a rookie card if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, it's not, uh, I'm sorry. But um, his cards have a lot of value and um, we will see in just a second that there, I did, was able to find a parallel of his. So we'll sell that by itself. Going with my England theory, Marcus Rashford. I think this card's between 70, uh, between 60 and $70 um, from England. Just a base card as well. But again, with this one, he's only 21 when this came out. Maybe younger, so this is his rookie. So you find any parallels of this significant money right there. Um, I'm sorry, I misspoke about the Sergio Ramos. Um, Marco Asensio from Spain. This is a base card. I think this is another um, 10, uh, 10, 20 dollars. I think this is a rookie. He was only 22 uh, during the 2018 World Cup. Uh, and I have right next to him a prism. So it's kind of, it's hard to tell with this video when it's further away, you can see how it just shimmers. And then also look at the back. It will tell you right under the number that it is a prism. So the base card I think is 10 to $15. The prisms I think 40 to 50 um, is what they had been going for. So we will see, but again, nice finds. I think I have another box somewhere um, that I'm gonna be going through. Uh, and then Kevin De Bruyne from Belgium. I think this card, uh, it's a parallel, is the red blue parallel, probably in the 70 to $80 range. I don't know, I don't believe this is a rookie, he's 27, I just know he's, I just heard his name often. So, um, yeah, so I, when, it's funny, most of these guys that I pulled out, aside from a few, 
Um, when I was going through, I kind of knew that they were going to be good good cards to pull. I didn't pull any of the the big the top guys. Um, I don't. I didn't pull any Mbappe. I didn't pull Ronaldo. I didn't pull Messi. Um, but you know, I have. I don't think a lot of money invested and. Today, you know, there's going to be a decent recoup, I think. I think I'll make my money back. It'll just be two two years later. Um, Sergio Aguero. That's what I encourage people to do. If you have collected cards like anyone I know, you have boxes that you probably haven't looked at in a while, I encourage you to go through them and kind of think about what is hot. Like right now, basketball, soccer are extremely hot. Uh, Luis Robert and Fernando Tatis in baseball are really hot too. But for me, I think those guys are going to continue to be hot. Uh, soccer could be hot forever because obviously it's a international game. But um, for me, I think you know recouping my money now is better than just holding and, and hoping. I am going to be selling a large uh, lot of base cards from this set too. Um, my theory with that and with a uh, Timo Werner, I'm saying Werner, uh, Timo Werner uh, base card. Again, this is, I think this card itself is between 40 and 50 bucks. Um, but I'm going to be listing a large lot of the base cards. I will not include any of the stars in them. There might be a few people that I miss that are a couple dollars here and there that I'll put into the lots. But any of the big players I don't like to put in because uh, they're going to sell for a lot as is. And you want to maximize your money there. And when you sell a lot, like 20, 30, 40, 50 cards at one time, the purpose there is to get a little bit of money, but also to clear space, to get rid of a bulk amount of cards. Um, and you don't need to put superstars in there to do that, in my opinion. Um, I've collected a lot of superstars. Like Cal I collected Carapin for a long time, and um, I hated when there would be a lot of five or six autographs or uh, relic cards and Ripken had one or two, one that I needed, figuring like I didn't want to like spend the rest of the money to uh, buy cards that I didn't necessarily need. So I go, I put the big guys out and let the rest of the, um, the lots, um, you know, kind of sell for themselves. There'll be a lot of parallels and things like that too. So uh, I encourage anyone who's got a couple year old boxes, you might have some soccer that you, you got into a break or you found a box, um, basketball anything shiny in basketball that's a couple years old sells extremely well too so uh, keep on the lookout for those types of things that you may have forgotten about uh, it's always nice to go back through um, and learn something about you know collecting and a sport and also to find something that you might be able to capitalize on that you honestly have not thought about in years and that's the case with these um, so you know have a bunch of cards to list and I will be updating on this video um, with any luck if I'm able to figure it out. Hopefully I will. Um, what these cards sold for. Um, if you have any stories like this, please comment in, uh, below. I like hearing when people find things that they didn't realize they had. I like when people are able to kind of maximize and take advantage of, of a strong market. Uh, if people are willing to pay, pay higher prices for it, there's, I think, no problem with selling it at a higher price. Um, and uh, comment, like, subscribe. We really appreciate it. Hopefully these short videos that we've been doing recently have helped people uh, stay engaged. I do like the comments I've gotten. So I just want to say thank you to the people that have reached out. Thank you to uh, anyone that watches the videos. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye. And that's Logan signing off. Break it. Break it.